And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, live coverage of this Ligue 2 match. It's Dijon, and they take on Stade Lavalois. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And a look at the starting 11 for Dijon. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And the contest begins. Really a very poor ball. Jacob. Now let's see what they can do here. Will he play it in? Dangerous ball. Well, not cleared away completely. Brian Sumare. Takes the shot. Making sure it didn't get past him. Plenty of support here. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. DDA and Dong. Zhang Silva. And a good tackle. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Thumps clear. Michael Le Bihon. Jacob. Still passing it around with authority. That's not a bad ball. Not away completely. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Adeotti. It might be on for them. Real chance. And there it is. 1-0. Their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Uh, 
And back underway. 1 0 it is. He's managed to lose his marker. Marie. It's a neat move. They do pass the ball with authority. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And a bit more defending on their minds here, I think. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And deciding to go short with this one. Could be! Can they stop it going in? Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Silva. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Moving forward effectively. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Could play it in. Is it going to be? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Now sending it in. Not all that convincing defensively. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Didier and Dong. Valentin Jacob. Le Bihar with it. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Really closing him down. And teammates to play it to. Opportunity. In it goes. But wait a minute. That will not count. Well, that was tight. But he was just offside. It was a good finish, though.
So a personnel change then. Really vital interception here. Well, as you can see, the hosts have controlled the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, no mistake from the keeper, acting decisively. Eccentric goalkeeping. It needs an accurate cross. Well, no problems defensively. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And a long way out. Oh, he saved it well. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. DDA and Dong. Good looking ball. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Determined defending. This could square the game, and it has! Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, it's the perfect finish, isn't it? As you can see, you can't place it better than that, can you? So back on the way, one goal apiece here. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. And they need to get tighter here. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. Nice-looking pass. And delivered into the box. Well, they can bring it out now. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes.